Hello, my friends. Nico here from New Real Frames. Spotify adds feature after feature to increase the engagement of their users on the platform. And they do this mostly by pushing video content. They've added Spotify Canvas, they've added Spotify Clips, and now they have even playlists that feel like the TikTok feed where users can swipe through new songs, looking at their Spotify Canvases and discover new music. As a musician, this is a really great opportunity to be in early, to show up in these feeds to enable an unknown audience can discover you. Today I will show you how to create a Spotify canvas with a platform I've built, which is now a growing company in the AI music video space. You can do this for free if you accept the watermark or you pay if you want to remove the watermark. Let's dive in. So we are on neuralframes.com. We click on start new project. We can select all kinds of AI models, but as a new user, you won't see this because you will just have access to open journey. For now, I would like to use Juggernaut XL. We click create new. And we can just say portrait of a cute little robot, synthetic, metallic, beautiful, something like that. Now for Spotify cameras, we need to choose nine to 16 format and we click on render. Right, and we have four images to choose from. We could also re-render certain parts, but I actually like this robot quite a bit. So we choose it. Now in this video editor, we have a lot of options to create stunning music videos. We can add music, we can add audio reactive modulations, we can um, add like a zoom effect on the kick drum or something like this. There's a lot of room to play with here and here's a um, larger tutorial about it. But for now we just want to make a Spotify canvas. A Spotify canvas should be around seven seconds long. And what I would do is um, I would drag the first prompt here in this case to one and a half seconds and make a second one which then ends up being uh, up to uh, 3.5 seconds. We will double the duration later on, actually. And maybe for the second prompt, we don't want a cute robot, but maybe a, a cute little laughing robot, happy, smiling flowers. Maybe we take synthetic and metallic away. Let's see what happens. What we also want to do is first we want a little bit of movement and then we want no movement. And also I would like this trippy style here. Cool. This we render and then we see what happens. And now the cool part of, of Neural Frames is that you can see the frames appearing in front of you. So one after the other the frames come, the AI renders them somewhere and sends them to you from the cloud and you could even now go ahead go back and change something in one of the prompts you could also add new ones you can make longer videos of course not for spotify canvas but if you wanted to create longer music videos okay our, our video has been done it's done let's let's check it out once yeah it's a cute robot i would say pretty high definition very nice now we can export the video and um, what we need to do now is a loop with with reverse clip because then it um, ends up from 3.5 seconds, it will be doubled to seven seconds. Right, and now we can look at the video here and you can see that it actually reverses, so it loops. You could download this now and uh, add it to Spotify for artists and have this animation pop up on Spotify and appear in all these playlists where Spotify is boosting um, the video content. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to this channel. Check out the other tutorials we're making. Um, I really hope this, this platform is something for you. Thanks a lot and happy rendering.